everybody, my name is Shadowface, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Theory. Today, I have a special guest with me here, so go ahead and say hi. Hello. So this is Zombie Wars SMT, and him and I, uh, we're looking at the game files, and I noticed something, and so I circled uh, what I noticed and sent it over, and we were thinking about um, a, a few things that regarded the marionette in the first game. And um, so first off, let me clear this up. The marionette is pretty much confirmed to be in the first game with the cutscene. Yeah, mm -hmm. realistically, it's not actually in the first game, but we know it from the cutscenes alone. Um, yeah, if you look in the game files, there's no trace of the actual marionette being in the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, one game. Well, technically, yeah, actually, it's the the little paintings that say it's me or whatever it is with the crying children or whatever that was. Yeah, it, that was actually made before the uh, second game, wasn't it? Yeah, that that was um yeah like there's a rare chance if you look at like the pictures of, like Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica in the hallway. Um, it'll turn into a crying child, which is suspected to be the marionette. So, yeah, I mean, maybe Scott already had, like, plans to make the marionette, or the idea of the marionette was actually already uh, in Scott's head, and that could also bring up a couple other theories that I will probably go over in another video, but mm -hmm. um, as of right now, we're going to be talking about where the marionette could possibly be within the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 game. Now, we know there's actually no pictures of the actual, like, like... Yeah, um, you can go through the game files, you won't find them. Yeah, unless it's, like, the hallway picture, but, like, we're talking about the actual physical being of the marionette. However, if you do go in the game files, you'll find an image that we have on screen now. We had, we just added the red circles for what we're about to talk to. Um, yeah, and, um, you know, we're, we're going to be talking about where the marionette could possibly be mm -hmm. uh, in the actual, in the first uh, game, like, the, the whole restaurant in the first game. Yeah. And so, first off would be the kitchen. Because, like, nobody knows what's in the kitchen. It's just, the, it's just only audio. You can only audio. Hear audio. Yeah, like, audio only uh, video disabled. So, you know, there's, a, there's a theory that brought up, and I might I might go to um, further detail in another video, but, like, I'm just going to go over the main idea of it. That when Freddy goes into the kitchen, uh, when he plays his music, you can hear it. Uh, people actually have been speculating that that could possibly be uh, Freddy just going in there to cue the marionette, like, you know calm and chill because he's playing his music in there yeah yeah that, that makes a lot don't of have sense. a music box to wind up you know so freddy has to go in there and do it himself i guess yeah because i don't understand why well there's two th reasons why he would do that either because he just stays in there and he stays in there for quite a long time too it's not like he just goes in and out he actually stays there for a good like minute or two like uh he goes through his whole song in the kitchen which is uh pretty odd but People either say that's to scare the player, or, like you said, to keep the marionette calm. So. Yeah, another thing people have been saying, that it's just like an audio cue to let the player know that the uh, Freddy Fazbear is actually in the um, yeah kitchen because there is no camera. It's only audio. You can't see him in there. Yeah. Um, but that could also be a possibility of where the marionette is. And also, once again, the, the picture will be on the screen right now um, where the camera is circled. So there's the kitchen camera circled, but there's also another one circled, which is in the backstage camera. And, um, yeah, that's where all the heads are, the uh, endoskeleton, all that kind of jazz. Yeah, but what we, what we found weird about this was that the camera's actually in a different location than it was in the final product of the game. Yeah. And it, so what we were thinking is that it could be hiding something, maybe. Possibly, because I don't understand why he would change it. It has no purpose whatsoever. I mean, in my opinion, I guess maybe he had, like, maybe the original image was going to have maybe the, the marionette just in there. But maybe he wanted to kind of keep it as a suspense for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Maybe he's like, you know what? What if this game does get viral? What if it does get big? And I want to make a sequel out of it. What if I don't have anything else to work with if I don't do it this way? Like, could that possibly be why? Yeah, and you know, he could have already, like, been making plans for a second game anyway. Because, yeah. you know, even if it did go viral or not. Well, everyone thinks ahead. That's the given right there. So, like, everyone thinks ahead. So, um... Yeah, so I just found it, like, particularly weird that the backstage camera was at a different angle. It, it really, like, it doesn't make it much sense for him to change, I guess. I find it more odd, to be absolutely honest, that there's, uh, there's no camera in the finished game of Five Nights at Freddy's t 2. Um, it's, I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I find it pretty odd, actually, um, because in the, as, like, in the picture, there's a camera in there, but why is it gone in the game's release yeah 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 like uh, it, it, it's pointless yeah so maybe it was just scott wanted a different camera angle 
or it was hiding the marionette. That's a possibility. Why it would be in the kitchen, I would have no idea, but <laughs> I don't. I have no other reason of why the camera would be disabled. Like, um, I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like there's a bigger chance of it being in the backstage, if anything, just hidden out of camera's angle. Yeah. Um, than it would be in the kitchen, but then again, you can't really see what's actually in the kitchen, so. Well, it's a more realistic, um, more realistic place to put it in the backstage, because more likely, um, there would be a unused item in the backstage, you know, the room with all the misfit items and the unused item and the spares that all go there. Um, I mean, not where food goes, I mean... But yeah, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's kind of out of place to just see a giant puppet in, like, the kitchen, but, um, yeah, like I said, like, it, it could be somewhere in the, uh, backstage. We already know there's something up with the backstage, because we already have that endoskeleton in there that looks at you and stuff. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much our theory uh, we wanted to bring to you guys. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. That's about mm -hmm. it for this episode, though. Um... I think that was a pretty good one. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You want to say bye, Zombie? Uh, peace out. All right, I'm taking off, so you guys take care. And as always, have a great day. Scrub.